Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Last episode, Prince Oni and his companions Tennyson, Indy, and Sadie made a, a dive into the castle of Baramus. Baramus is the archfiend who uh, the king of uh, Aliahan tasked Prince Oni to uh, defeat. So it's time for us to head back to the castle and uh, see if we can defeat Baramus. Baramus is the Archfiend, he's basically the toughest enemy that we'll fight. Uh, we uh, only went into his castle uh, for a little bit, uh, the last episode, uh, just to get the treasure that uh, Baramus has. Uh, there was three treasures, uh, oh, yeah, pretty useful treasures, especially the axe. If we had a soldier, we'd want to give that, that axe to the soldier. I'd say that's a 1 in 8 critical hit create chance. Uh, that would really help against uh, Baramus, but we don't have uh, a soldier. Uh, yeah, Sadie will eventually become a soldier, uh, so a lot of that equipment will go to her. Uh, but anyway, now that we've gotten the, uh, the three treasures in Baramus' castle, we can make a quick run right to Baramus. So, uh, we don't have to worry about farming any enemies around here, because uh, all the new enemies uh, that we can encounter in the castle, we encountered in the last episode. So, we can just go straight to Baramus. Keep the eye on that uh, that uh, path. So, so a lot of times we're gonna be jumping in and out of the castle, uh, but it's kind of a straight shot. So rather than uh, go to the right this time, we're gonna head to the left. We're eventually gonna end up uh, at that staircase over uh, to the right here, right there. This time we have to go this way. We're not turned around. Uh, Baramus, uh, he's uh, like I said, he's pretty uh, pretty deadly uh, because he has the regeneration and he has a lot of hit all spells. Uh, it can can be a kind of a luck based fight. Uh, he has pretty decent resistance to most spells. I'll put the resistances up when uh, when you actually fight him. But uh, the uh, it's basically like 70% chance, or 71% chance that he'll uh, uh, avoid sleep and stop spell. But if you do get those two spells up on him, uh, it can make the battle uh, pretty, pretty easy, so... Here we are in uh, Baramus' old throne room. And we'll get to see, uh, I guess, the old king here. And there's a skeleton there. There's another skeleton if we were to went right into the castle. Uh, and you would have went straight up, I said uh, that there's a passageway that leads to that little shed in the lower right of the castle. Uh, when you go that way, uh, you'll end up in a jail cell, you'll see a jail cell, and there's another skeleton there, but like this skeleton, it says, uh, doesn't say anything because he appears dead. Now we're going to head into the basement, we're going to make sure that we use the step guard spell, because uh, it only costs 2 uh, MP to use. And each of those uh, tiles, if we step on it, will take 15, uh, he 15 health um, off of anyone who steps on the tile, which is uh, and a cure, I think the most generic heal spell costs 3 MP. So being able to, uh, you know, it just saves so much uh, MP by using uh, the step guard spell because it saves so much damage. We're going to be taking a lot of damage against Baramus, so it's a good thing that uh, Sadie, uh, during the trek here, uh, she ended up getting the heal all spell, which uh, heals, uh, like the thing says, it uh, heals all the hit points of a character. Uh, get everybody up to basically their max hit points. Because here's the basement where Baramus is, the Archfiend. So you want to save as much hit points as possible, so you're only going to step once. I'm going to use that step guard spell. And let's talk to Baramus. So that has finally made it here. Hey, Prince Oni. But alas, too soon, for thou and thine do not yet know thyself well enough to oppose the Archfiend Baramus. Thou art to regret thy coming indeed. You shall be dead for good, for I will surely feast on thine innards. It's like a proper English accent or something. A medieval type tone. This is Baramus. Uh, Baramus can uh, have a gen regeneration between 90 and 109 uh, per round. Uh, he only has uh, 900 hit points. Well, like I said, that regeneration is really, really, uh, you know, it makes the battle a little bit hard. 
um, in terms of dealing damage. So we're going to want to have our Prince Oni and Tennyson both buy killed. Indy and Sadie are going to be more support roles, using uh, spells to uh, what you call it to increase speed, uh, apply a buy kill, and then to uh, also do a lot of healing. Sadie will be the best healer because she has a heal all spell, but heal more will still be pretty good. Because Indian Tennyson get the advantage of using the parry trick, uh, they won't take as much damage, so the main healer, main targets of healing will be Prince Oni and, uh, and Sadie. So there's uh, Baroness's resistance is, uh, over there on the left. Uh, it's uh, the number divided by 256. So sap defense. Uh, is basically like 30% uh, avoiding a uh, sleep and stop spell. It's like 71% chance that it's not gonna work. Uh, so I tried to use sleep for like two rounds, uh, but it wasn't working, so then I, by that point I was like, uh, I'm just gonna go on the offense. So, because Prince Oni wasn't doing anything those first two rounds, the first round we wanna get our buffs up, uh, so we're not gonna do any damage anyway, uh, so we might as well try to sleep, and then the next round, uh, we're still doing some uh, healing and uh, getting our characters ready for fighting, so we just haven't inflicted that sap status on uh, Baramus. It's lucky he doesn't avoid sap all that well, so. But uh, as you can see, Baramus goes two, uh, two attacks per round. He usually has a really strong multiple uh, attack, whether it's a fire breath, or Snowstorm, or the Exploded spell, which is the strongest group fire spell. And then he has a really strong physical attack, uh, and he has um, multiple uh, strong uh, single target spell attacks. He has that Blaze Mox, which is the single strongest uh, fire, single target fire spell. Yeah, Baramus, he's uh... If we would have leveled up a little bit more, uh, there's a spell barrier that would have helped. Uh, it reduces damage that uh, like fire-based spells do, but uh, we didn't get that high level. Probably would have been that way if we had a pilgrim uh, way back at the beginning of the game. Uh, but like I said, because uh, but Sadie was uh, initially a merchant there and uh, transitioned into uh, being a pilgrim later. Sadly, Tennyson now is knocked out, so... But, Sadie's back to doing some healing. She's a pretty decent thing at, at hit points. We got lucky, um, in this sense, because, um, Prince Oni and Indy, they both have the Vivify spell, which brings characters back to life. It has a 50% chance of working. Uh, I got lucky in both times that, uh, it worked, so... Figured one of the times it wouldn't work, but the coin on uh, luck was in our favor, so maybe it was all the luck that Sadie got as a goof off that helped her. So, so not Sadie, Indy. Indy, the amazing Indy. She became our. She was so amazing, she was able to class change into a sage without having the Book of Knowledge, the Book of Satori. Sadly, uh, Tennyson loses that uh, buff, the buy kill buff, uh, and we don't get enough time to reestablish it. But Prince Oni, he keeps his buy kill, and that sap that we took on uh, is definitely helping out here, so. Prince Oni is doing, like I said, about 200 damage, which basically rounds down to like 100 damage uh, with the regeneration. The only thing is, like, it's things that he, he, he and uh, Sadie can't do that uh, parry trick, so they're gonna take the most damage. Plus, uh, Prince Ernie has that uh, Sword Edge armor. Uh, that doesn't have uh, resistance to spells like uh, Indy and uh, Tennyson's uh, magic armor does. So, they're taking full uh, Prince Ernie and Sadie are taking full damage from spells. But we defeated Baramus, and a warm light engulfs the area. Now that Baramus is defeated, we can actually use the uh, outside spell. Remember uh, last episode I had a trek out of the castle because I tried to use the outside spell? And basically, like, I guess Baramus' magic uh, prevents us from doing that. We come out here and, hey, where's our Ramia? We're basically stuck here. We're forced to use the return spell. And the only option they give us is to return to Aliahan. 
Yeah, they won't let us explore the world. So they took our ship, they took Ramia. Welcome back to Aaliyah Hand. The rumor that you defeated Arch Archfiend Baramis has already reached you. Has already reached here. Some of the people say new things. Hey, well, it's not really... Didn't tell us anything new. So these other folks will. You are indeed a true son of Ortega. A lot of people repeat the same dialogue, but I'm gonna check it all out. You are indeed true heroes. Mom and Grandpa will be happy. Go tell them that hey, we uh, we lived up to uh, uh, Dad's uh, standard, I guess. Prince Ernie's father being Ortega the hero. What you defeat the Archfiend Baroness? You are true heroes indeed. Grandpa Prince Ernie. He was not so brave as Prince Ernie. Alas, he is my he is not he's my grandson. Welcome back, Prince Ernie, dear. Your mother is so happy. Oh, I wish your father could see you, Prince Ernie. My father's Ortega back. He was that uh, warrior who fell into the uh, volcano back at the intro cutscene. He was fighting that dragon and cut off the dragon's wing, but then the dragon landed on him and Pull them into the crater. Let's go up here to the inn, and there's some people hanging out here. Well, that guy's still hurting from the, his uh, mishap with the magic ball. But this guy has some new Would this piece will surely come to this world? Yay! Way to go, Prince Army. I want you to sail the faraway sea. with all these people, and then we'll head into the castle. Quickly, into the castle. The king will surely be delighted to hear your news. Well, he's the one who uh, tasked us with that quest, so... Ah! You are indeed a true son of Ortega. This marks the birth of a new young hero. <laughs> what, you defeated the Archie and Baroness? You are yours indeed. With this surely peace will come to the world. And go grab Spartacus there. He's, uh... He's, uh, growling because... Princess Guinevere likes to troll him. You are indeed true heroes. Spartacus, am I your hero because I rescued you from the evil rat Princess Guinevere? Yeah. Sparky is a good dog. Uh huh. He just likes to get teased by the ratties. Well, then hurry to the king. He anxiously awaits you. Well, I'm sure other people await us too. Let's talk with them first. We don't want to go right to the ending, do we? No, we want to talk with everybody. Prince Ernie used the final key. Just got to say. Three cheers for Prince Ernie. Let's go. Old man. What, well, you defeated the Archie Baroness? You are indeed true heroes. You are indeed true heroes. Oh, thank you. Now the princess can go outside. Didn't you see the princess? My princess, my princess. My princess is being mean. She's teasing Spartacus. This guy who let us uh, take the treasure because he remember he was like, ah, uh, Brave Ortega did a lot for me, so I'm just going to ignore that you are basically stealing this treasure. So the princess, even though Baramus has been defeated, the king is still not letting her go outside. Poor princess. What, you defeat the Ocean Baroness? Yes, we did! I don't know how the people uh, found out about it so quickly. We walked right here as soon as we got done. We walked right outside the castle and boom! Maybe the king has like a, 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 a scrying ball or a scrying mirror. Uh, does this girl actually say something different if we uh, open a cell? Thanks for letting me out. I'll tell you something now. They say there is a castle somewhere where the Dragon Queen lives. We talked with her. We got that, uh, she gave us the Ball of Light. And that allow us, uh, and, uh, she laid that egg. I wonder what we need the Ball of Light for. I mean, we defeated the Archfiend. Is there someone greater than the Archfiend? The Headfiend? 
we'll find out in a little bit. Let's go uh, talk with the rest of the people, and then we'll go. Then we'll go meet the king. The king can wait. He basically gave us like no help on our adventure. I mean, he saved our game, but like when we started out, he gave us just a little bit of money that we could barely do anything with. I think if he's tasked us to save the wolf, he would be a little bit more generous, but. Especially considering, uh, you know, our lineage, our father was a great hero, Ortega, everyone's talking about him. People from all over the world are talking about him. We got that one kid who gives the water blaster. That's what that Ortega gave him. Ah, oh, Batman's dead, it's like a dream come true. Let's just, uh, step out of the castle real quick, that would make it easier to get back into the castle. And we can just head straight up, and, uh, head to talk to the king, give him the good news. Well, I heard the king, he anxiously awaits you. Ooh. And, uh, all the folks who were hanging out with the king earlier, they're, they're all gone. He sent a bunch of soldiers here with him, who tell us to hurry uh, to the king. And, of course, they tell us to hurry to the king, so we're going to take our time and just talk with everybody else first, even though they all say the same thing. Well, the chancellor says something different, so... Oh, no, he doesn't. He did. Now, he'll say something later that's different. Now let's talk with the king. Oh, Prince Ernie, you did well in defeating the Archfiend Banners. You are indeed a true son of Ortega. The whole country sings your praises, Prince Ernie. Everyone, hear me. Let us celebrate. We got these, uh, guards pull out their, uh, horns and... Uh-oh, something happened. Something just destroyed the guards. From out of nowhere, an unearthly voice is heard. Ha ha, I am Zoma, Master Archfiend, who rules the Dark Realms. By the powers I possess, before long, this world too will be locked in darkness. Anguish and suffering will be thine. It is thy suffering that brings me joy. Ha 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 ha. Oh no. What is the meaning of this? Just when we thought peace had come to our world. How shall I tell my subjects of the coming of a world of darkness? I swear you'll keep this news of Archfiend Zoma quiet. See, now the king is, seems to have lost all his power, I guess he's really upset because, uh... There's someone high, greater than uh, Baramus out there, so now if you want to save your game at uh, Aliahan, we have to talk with the uh, Chancellor. And he'll just save our game. So we're going to definitely want to save our game after defeating the Archfiend. Because uh, we still have a little bit of adventuring to go. We have to find the Master Fiend, Zoma. Where are we going to start that uh, quest? Uh, find out in our next episode. Take care. See you then. Bye.